Hey everybody, it's Mo from Cooking with Mo and Deb, and it's lunchtime. I'm working from home, and I'm going to make a quick tuna salad. And I just wanted to show you how I make my tuna salad. Um, we don't really eat a lot of fish, and I know it's good for you, and I wish I really, really loved it, but I don't. So, um, but I can eat tuna if it's doctored up a little bit. So I'm just going to show you how I make mine. Um, I start by using albacore tuna, and this is a large, what is it, 12 ounce container. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. And you're gonna hear my cat, because he smelled it as soon as I opened the lid. He smelled it. So I drained it. Uh, this is packed in water, and I'm gonna place it in my bowl. I'm gonna move this camera down so you can see. But yeah, I just don't like the fishy taste, and um, I don't like finding icky things in my tuna. So that is one reason I opt for using the um, the albacore. I like the white, um, all white meat. So that's one thing. And then um, it just seems to be better, and there's not all that icky stuff in it. As you can see, it's really, really white. Kind of looks like canned chicken. And the cat's crying because he knows I'm gonna give him some here in a minute. I will probably give him a bite. Do not jump up here, I will hurt you. Just kidding, I won't. Okay, so my husband and I years ago, I was a mayonnaise eater and he was a Miracle Whip eater. So years ago, I started compromising by using both in our dishes. <laughs> and I think, y'all, I really think that it makes a big difference. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of mayo. Deb would not like this because y'all know she doesn't like mayonnaise. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon, maybe a little more of Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip has sort of a sweet taste, more like a salad dressing. Then mayonnaise. Oh, shoot. <laughs> but the combination of the two of them is really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in there. And you notice I didn't put a lot. Um, if you're trying to eat healthy, you know, if you can cut down on the fats, um, that's a good thing. All right, so I've got that kind of mixed in. All right, now I'm gonna add, this is some of sweet relish that I canned last year. Uh, you don't have to use your own home canned. You can just buy it at the store. Just a regular pickle relish. And I'm gonna add probably uh, two, two tablespoons of this. And y'all know I don't measure anything. I'm gonna add a little bit of the juice as well. There's that. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna chop up two green onions. Just chop them thin. Actually, let me cut down this. Cut down this. I don't want a lot of onion, but I do like it. It's really tasty when you um, add it to your tuna. Onion's a great thing to add. Some of the green tops in there. Go ahead and dump that in. Now I'm going to cut up just about a quarter of a red bell pepper. I'm going to 
over here where you can see it. All right, so the red bell pepper not only adds great flavor, but it makes it really pretty too. Now, in the summertime, I like to add fresh red tomatoes uh, from the garden to this, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Since it's just now April and the tomatoes around here still are not that great. All right, salt and pepper to taste. I'm trying to cut back on salt, so I'm not gonna add as much, but I can load up on pepper, and I do love that. Now, one extra ingredient that I add sometimes is um, a boiled egg. I will chop up a boiled egg and add it. So, I'm trying to decide, do I wanna do that? I just boiled some for a salad, so. What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and add one. One boiled egg. Okay, feel real quick. Yesterday was Easter, and I'm sure a lot of you guys ate a lot of boiled eggs. I normally do not eat them that way. I grew up, we always had dyed Easter eggs, and my father loved them, and I liked them okay, but not so much just to eat out of my hand. I like them in dishes or as toppings for something. So I'm just gonna chop these. All right. Making a mess, y'all. And this is looking a little bit dry, so I am gonna add just a wee bit more mayonnaise to that. Let's mix it up and see what we got here. I should have had a bigger bowl, y'all. I didn't know I was gonna put the egg in there for sure. Now, after I taste it, I'll know, do I need more pepper? Or do I need some celery salt? And sometimes I do put celery in here. It's really good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab a stalk of celery. Nothing like flying by the seat of your pants, is there, y'all? That's how I roll. I'm just gonna use the heart of the celery. I'm not gonna use the whole stem. I'm just gonna cut down, so I'll get me some good small cuts here. I don't like big chunks of celery and things. Maybe a texture thing or a crunch thing, I don't know. about enough. I don't want a lot of celery in there. Just a little bit. And that's all I'm going to add, y'all. That's enough, isn't it? <laughs> but do you see what I meant by dressing up the tuna? I really dressed it. It is dressed gill today. There you go. Fresh tuna salad. And I'm gonna give it a try here to see if I need to season it anymore. And you can put other seasonings in it as well. Mmm. It's really good. And healthy. So. If you don't make tuna salad a lot, 
this is a great recipe to use and um, it's it's healthy you know except for the little bit of mayonnaise you've just got really healthy things in there I do like the albacore for my tuna so um, that's what I use but you use whichever you like thank you and we'll see you later have a good lunch